I'm Chris Smith, I'm 26 years old and I'm a hydrogeologist. So it's just studying water that's in the ground and the surface groundwater interactions. That involves coming out into the field. The main experiments that a hydrogeologist is involved in is uh, taking soil samples out of the ground and with that soil sample you can analyse that for salt content and water content to work out where in fact the water has come from, whether it's surface water or groundwater. You can analyse the groundwater for the salinity, for the depth to groundwater. You can also look at the direction of groundwater movement. Once you've done all that, you can then sample the streams because groundwater also uh, can discharge into streams. Uh, we can analyse the major ions in the streams, bromide, chloride, sulphate. Uh, and they're quite important when you get uh, acidic waters and acidic soils developing. It's not very good for the environment. You've got electrodes that you can put in the water to give you temperature readings, pH readings. When I was a little tacker, probably about five or six years old, uh, we were living in Darwin um, and I really loved the wet season up there. Uh, we, there was lots of water, we had a lot of flooding and it's basically ever since that age I had a real interest in water, where it come from, how it uh, went into the landscape, um, why, you know, it was such a precious resource, so we wanted to, I just wanted to understand it or just play in it at that age. Uh, then when I, I grew up, uh, we came back down to Adelaide and then I found out we could study uh, water in university, so I thought that what a fantastic opportunity and I went to Flinders University and pursued that career. South Australia is the driest state in the driest inhabited continent in the world, uh, so there's not much uh, available water within Adelaide. Once you've got all the, the field results, uh, putting that into a computer and simulating understanding via a numerical model. Uh, so I spend a lot of time in front of a computer once I come back out in the field and understand the processes, what the results mean. From there, uh, look at different management scenarios. With the grab samples from the stream water, you can take them back into the laboratory and work out its age or the major ions in the water. Uh, if you want to work out the age, you can do a carbon-14 experiment, so you look at the amount of carbon that's in the water. Well, salinity is a major environmental factor in Australia, so it's important to understand how saline the streams are and if they are in fact saline, then you've got to work out where the salinity is coming from. Australia is probably one of the world leaders in researching water. The thing I like most about the job is you get to work out into the field, you get to, you get to understand the environment and uh, you get to sometimes travel overseas or just the different places in Australia. The advice that I would give is to, if you've got a real passion in hydrogeology or hydrology, is to follow at an early age it, through school, ask your teachers about any work that's in your local area that you can go out into the field or you can help with catchment groups, revegetating catchments to help with the water quality in that area and always keep an active interest in it. You don't have to necessarily do a straight science degree. Uh, you can do a, a teaching degree with some environmental science in the background. I can see my future understanding further importance of water, the sustainability of groundwater, uh, understanding how we as humans can use groundwater more because there is a lot of untouched resource there and lessen the strain on surface water uh, elsewhere. I have a few other hobbies, meteorology is one, and another hobby of mine is just sport. Um, I'm very much involved in football, being a SANFL field umpire. That's also good when you're starting to tear your hair out because your computer model or your results aren't what you expected and you don't understand them. To get out on the track and to go for a run around is just a good release. This will keep me happy for, for the rest of the life. I also want to learn what I've learned in Australia and perhaps employ what I've learned overseas. It's not for everyone, but if you do have an active interest in the outdoors and the environment and to, to making a difference in Australia's water um, futures, then it's a very good field to get into.